Ever wonder about Marilyn Munster? She was born Patricia Ann Priest on August 15, 1936 in Bountiful, Utah. Her mother, Ivy Baker Priest, was a renowned government official and served as United States Treasurer under the Dwight D. Eisenhower administration from 1953 to 1961. She also was California's treasurer while Ronald Reagan was governor from 1966 to 1974. Living a glamorous debutante's life in Washington, D.C., during her mother's 1950s term, she won attention as a beauty contest winner in the area. Stage struck, she moved to Los Angeles and pursued commercials, modeling and community theater work. She happened to be in the San Francisco Bay Area, in 1964, when she got the call from Hollywood as a possible replacement for lookalike actress Beverly Owen, the original Marilyn Munster, who was suddenly leaving the series for marriage. Most viewers never caught on that there was a cast change. Her one joke premise revolved around her feeling abnormal amid her ghoulish relatives. The series ran another two seasons with Pat, then she went on to what would become a less than enviable post Munster's career. Other than a few guest roles in such series as Bewitched, Perry Mason, The Virginian, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the pickings grew scarce. Deemed too old to play Marilyn after the series was cancelled, she was 29, she was replaced by red-headed Debbie Watson for the feature film, Munster, Go Home, which included the rest of her series cast. She did dally around with Elvis Presley in Easy Come, Easy Go, and appeared in the cult horror film, The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant, which co-starred Bruce Stern and Casey Kasem, but film roles were almost non-existent after that. Pat finally retired from acting in the 1980s but still attends many of the nostalgic conventions and Munster's revivals around the country. At last report, she was restoring and selling homes in Idaho, where she had lived for over 20 years. Married twice, she has two sons, 